your big dicks. How big is that fucking bass player? Yeah. What the fuck? It's fucking giant. And then what you think it makes it listen, makes it noise. A lot of people don't know this, but we've been auditioning bass players ever since Lexi Fox quit the band to do uh, to, to take care of animals and shit. And I'll tell you what, this guy right fucking here is at the top 25 of the bass players we've auditioned. Yesterday you told me I was pretty ugly, so like, what, what are you, uh, Listen, what are you, you talking about? you look fucking great, I'm just saying, you, I just, it's, it's kind of like a buyer's beware kind of program. I just want to let the ladies know. He's got a fucking lot of, a lot of muscles. That's mostly because of the steroids. It shrinks your balls and your testicles quite a bit. Okay? I've seen him naked, trust me. Uh, Plenty of times. He sees all the bass players who try him naked. Listen, they don't get in the band unless they get to see him naked first. You know what I'm saying? It's so weird, but it works. Speaking of guys I, I've seen naked and was not impressed by, I want to introduce you to one of the greatest heavy metal lead singers in the world right now. I want to introduce you to a fucking heavy metal icon, okay? I want to introduce you to a guy whose voice is so fucking great that he has inspired an entire generation of children to drop out of school and fuck bitches for a living. <laughs> Unfortunately, this man is not with us tonight, so I want to introduce you instead to the guy that I hired back in 1981 when he was only 37 years old. I was 31, fucker. He was 31 back in 1981. And I'll tell you what, I know what a lot of people are thinking. They're thinking, God fucking damn. Either that bass player is 6'5", or that singer is fucking 5'2". And he's looking at you. And he looks even shorter with his hair all flat on that. I'm just, I'm just Listen, I'm sorry. You're, so, Ricky, make yourself useful and go get some hairspray for the singer, for Christ's sake. God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my top three favorite employees in my band. Make some noise for the lead singer of Steel Panther, Mr. Michael Scott! Yeah. 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 It's great to be here tonight, and I just want to thank everyone who fucking spread your hard earned money and bought a ticket to come see us tonight. We appreciate you, man. And I also just... I also want to thank you guys for helping us with the voting process for picking a new bass player for Steel Panther. Because we need you guys, man. You guys are the ones that watched us from the very beginning, and we fucking love you, and we appreciate you helping us out. Now listen, listen, if you haven't figured out how to vote for the new bass player, all you do is go to SteelPantherRocks.com and follow the instructions, and you can vote for Ricky if you like what you see right here. Let's go. Let me tell you something, dude. He's actually a great looking guy, obviously, and he's actually even smarter than Lexi Fox. And I know that's not saying a whole lot. <laughs> um, I know Lexi could now, but let me tell you one thing Lexi could do. Put on fucking makeup. Can I agree with that? <laughs> okay. So uh, can I tell you what, you know what you need to do right now? I think I was gonna tell you here. Oh, thanks, because I don't know what I'm doing up here. I'm pretty <laughs> drunk. Make some noise for alcohol. <laughs> some people say cocaine's bad. Some people say ecstasy will ruin your spine. I'm here to tell you, I'm living proof that neither are true. You can party till you die, motherfucker. <laughs> and a guy who you can tell I'm 
Archie's party if you're looking his face up close. I'm the guitar! Uh, the truth is, my grandma lives right here in town on the Federal's Route Street and Third Avenue. And I've been coming here for years. Every fucking year, my grandma has a whole fucking family out for Christmas time, and she cooks crystal meth for the whole family. And, uh, that's just me. Part of the reason why I don't remember it. Uh, I just wanted to definitely been a Steel Panther show before. I do want to warn you, sir. I apologize in advance to what I'm going to do to your daughter's butthole backstage. This is a splash song right here in the front row here. This is going to be a lot of sweat, maybe some fucking eye makeup and some sperm. If it, if it doesn't shoot out, the show won't dribble. It'll dribble right in the front row. Speaking of dribble and sperm, let me introduce you to the drummer, Mr. Sticks. Is it in there? He's also full-time fucking talented. He's a great fucking weed salesman as well. A lot of people don't notice about him. But he's also an amazing impersonationist right now. You should turn the lights on him so you can see him. Turn the lights on back here. Hey, Mr. Lightman, you have any lights you can put on the drum room? Does anybody have a flash? Jesus. This is going to blow your mind. You really do need to see this. Turn your lights on. Somebody get a phone. He's standing in front of his light. Yeah, well, he's only got one light. <laughs> this is gonna blow your fucking mind, the impersonation he does right now. He's never done it in Columbus. He does the world's greatest Rick Allen impersonation. That's right. <laughs> Lost his arm after doing cocaine. Which, you know, what they, you know what they call that? 